There are many feuds that happened in Breathitt County, Kentucky, and because of these conflicts, the county earned the nickname Bloody Breathitt. We will go through as many of these feuds as we can, as they are all interrelated. The first known feud of the county came either shortly before or after the Civil War, as the dates are confusing. It was between John Amos and Captain Bill Strong. Several reasons have been given as to the start of the animosity between the two men. We will go through these reasons as well as the confusion about if the correct John Amos was named in this feud. All aboard the Kentucky Tennessee Living Time Machine! Please fasten your seat belts and keep your arms and legs inside of the vehicle at all times. But to get going, we need your help. We still need to fire up the time machine to transport us. Please help us by clicking on the like, subscribe, and bell notifications down below. Not only does this help fire up the time machine, but it convinces YouTube that we need a bigger time machine to reach more people who love history as much as you do. Now, back to our story. Special Notation In this section, we usually do a biography of the two men who started the feud. However, there is a huge discrepancy in the dates of the births, deaths, and the Civil War that we have found. For instance, the accepted historical John Amos lived and died between the years of 1773 and 1807. Captain Bill Strong lived and died between the years of 1825 and 1897. The Civil War years were between 1861 and 1865. If the correct John Amos is used in the story, then it would be impossible for him to be fighting with Captain Bill Strong. According to the records, Amos died 18 years before the birth of Strong and 54 years before the start of the Civil War in the United States. The historical John Amos did in fact die on the witness stand in Manchester, Kentucky, and Joel Elkins did in fact shoot him as far as we can tell from all of the records. Whether or not it had to do with this feud, we find it highly unlikely because this story could be related to another John Amos. It is not uncommon for two people of the same name, dying in the same manner, to be confused by history. We found the same problem with the story of Jane Mullins in the Killing Rock series. Rather than adding to the confusion, we have elected to just tell the stories as related by newspapers, books, and websites with this notation. This feud was not recognized as to have even existed until 1878, as it was considered a personal matter at the time. We have also tried to look up other sources for different dates and to another John Amos to no avail. However, when we find things like this in history, we do try to either correct it or to make notation that it is not correct and that the real characters of history may be found at a later date. The first cause given for the feud. According to the book, Kentucky Famous Feuds and Tragedies, quote, The first widespread feud in Breathitt County originated immediately after the Civil War. In that national conflict, the county furnished soldiers to the South and to the Union. John Amos and William Bill Strong raised a company for the federal cause. It became part of the so-called Greasy 14th and was commanded by Colonel H.C. Little. It was in this regiment that the noted Amos Strong feud arose. It was the first of a series of bloody strifes in that county. The hatred engendered during the Amos Strong feud was more bitter than a sectional strife between the armies of the North and the South. A feud between the two factions was not recognized to have existed, however, until about 1878. In that year, open and serious hostilities were precipitated by a fight during circuit court. In the battle, Bob Little, a nephew of Captain Strong, was killed and Amos was seriously wounded. From that time on, fights grew more numerous. Charges and countercharges were made on both sides. The county was in a ferment. Finally, nearly every family became involved in one way or another. How many men were killed in this feud will perhaps never be known, but many graves were filled. In this connection, it may be well to state that the county has rarely had a coroner and no records were kept of the deaths. 
It is thus an impossibility to ascertain the number of violent deaths which occurred in the past. Unquote. The second cause of the feud, the death of cattle. According to the website article, John Amos starts a feud with the North Forkers. Sometime during April of 1806, John Amos lived along the Kentucky River's Middle Fork in Breathitt County, Kentucky. One day he went elk hunting and came across cattle that had been wintering that belonged to Strong and his men. Amos thought that the land and grass fields were reserved for him and his men. When the cattle was discovered, Amos began to stab the twenty head of cattle, then drive them into the Kentucky River where they drowned. This action outraged Captain Bill Strong and he sought help to bring justice to Amos for this action. He sent word to General White of Prestonsburg, not of Goose Creek, that he needed help with Amos. It is also thought that he sent word to the governor of the state of Kentucky to send arms and ammunition. The governor replied that Strong got himself into trouble, he could get himself out of it, that he would not send any help or get involved in any way. Quote, Upon hearing of this, the North Forkers, led by Strong and including Joel Elkins and 12 men from the Stacy, Davison, Lewis, Bowling, Eversole, Callahan, Cornet, Lewis, and Begley clans, went to Amos's house. Amos wasn't home, but his wife, Kate Bowling Amos, was there. The North Fork cattlemen shot the Amos horse and took 20 head of cattle from his farm to compensate themselves for the cattle that Amos had destroyed. Peter Stacy reportedly butted Kate in the face with his gun as the cattle were being rustled. They took Juggy and Froggy, burnt three fodder stacks, and broke some of the rifle guns, unquote. Under orders from Mrs. Amos, the African-American that was working for them followed the men to shoot at them. However, Peter Stacy concealed himself and ambushed the man by shooting him in the head and breaking the gun that he was carrying. When Amos got word of what happened, he gathered 30 men of his own and started toward the place of Captain Bill Strong's home on North Fork. The leader of the group was John Gilbert, who was a brother-in-law to Amos. William Callahan alerted the Strong faction that the Amos group was headed toward them. The men quickly went to Lick Branch, where they concealed themselves opposite of where Amos and his men were to cross the river. Callahan fired, but Miss Amos in a great shootout, several horses were killed, and Nicholson and Cox were wounded. Amos and his horse made for a cliff for protection, but was captured there. Some of the Strong's faction wanted to kill him on the spot, but it is unclear if Strong saved his life or said shoot him. The overall plan was for Amos to be shot by Strong and Callahan. However, Callahan shot his gun before Strong could take aim on Amos. Callahan was accused of treachery for this act. Death of John Amos After the shooting had calmed down, the feuding sides decided to settle everything in a court of law. Trial began on August 5, 1807. However, According to the John Amos Settles on Kentucky River's South Fork web article, Joel Elkin screamed at Amos, calling him a liar during his testimony. William Strong had purposely loaded and placed a gun behind a door. Elkins grabbed the gun and shot Amos, killing him on the stand. Reasons for the shooting There are several reasons given for the shooting. One of the reasons given was Joel Elkins, who was employed by the Goose Creek Salt Works that was co-owned by John White and John Amos, shot him over a dispute with the contract that they had signed. Another reason given was that there was a peddler killed by Amos and Elkins, and they were both accused of the crime. Elkins warned Amos that if he testified against him, that he would die. Yet another reason given was for revenge for all of the cattle that John Amos had killed. It is unclear what Amos was going to testify or did testify to on the witness stand. What is clear is that Elkins killed him on the spot for it. According to the August 17, 1902, Washington Post edition, quote, Captain Bill Strong made the name of Breathitt Count notorious for the feudal war about 1870 in the famous Strong-Amos feud, begun on account of a dispute between a few she-goats. 
Nearly half a hundred men lost their lives before it ran its course, and several pitched battles were fought. The Amos were forced to leave the country. Unquote. Extra newspaper reports. When working on the Strong Callahan feud, I came across more information about the Amos Strong feud. These are the extra reports that were found concerning this conflict. According to the Tennis Gazette, quote, after the war, the Amos family and their friends tried to exterminate Strong and his friends. They besieged Strong in his house for three days when Strong's neighbors with a dozen old soldiers came to his rescue. A few nights afterward, Strong and his men met the Amos faction in an open meadow in the country. A fierce battle ensued which resulted in the death of one Amos and the wounding of several others. Only one of Strong's men was wounded. The Amos family moved to Kansas after several more of their men were killed." Unquote. In several reports we could find the battle between Amos and Strong took place by moonlight. This was highly unusual because the likelihood of being wounded or killed by friendly fire is higher than if the shootout took place by daylight. Also, in other reports, Strong's nephew was in the rescue party, but is not named, and in other reports, he is not mentioned. According to the Weekly Intelligencer, quote, Shortly after the war closed, Wiley Thomas and his grown sons, Albert, Robert, and John, encouraged Strong's displeasure by stealing several of the captain's horses. He openly accused them of theft, and a war between Amos and Strong began which resulted before the Amos were driven from the country in the killing of 45 men. Even though the Amos family left the area, Captain Strong would be involved in other feuds in Breathitt County. The next feud we will cover will be the Strong-Callahan feud. Thank you. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living would like to thank you for watching our video series on the Appalachian feuds. Don't forget to hit that like button, as the more likes we receive, the more likely YouTube is to suggest our videos to other viewers. Also, to receive notice when we upload a new video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification. We thank you for continuing to support Kentucky Tennessee Living as we are discovering the mysteries of Appalachian history.